All right, good morning, guys. It is Saturday morning, track walk time in Indy. Morning's going well, it's a little cold. The weather's beautiful, though. We're, uh, we're excited for the day. The nerves are a little high. Triple crown, this is the first triple crown for the, for the year for the guys. I'm excited, though. I think, uh, I think everyone's gonna do well. Uh, vibes are good, bikes are dialed. And yeah, let's have some fun today. I'm not even gonna, like, you're gonna laugh when I say this, but like, no, but like, seriously though, on this, oh wait, no, can you do it on Yeah, if you go like really push through it, it wouldn't be bad because you're not gonna sing over the corner. But you're probably gonna be good at being able to jump into the corner. See, I'm not good at that. Let's get in there first. Yeah, I know. That's the thing. Yeah, look at that, dude. What the fuck is this, man? That's a small secret. Oh, yeah. This I think that's the line. Ty, get the camera out of my face. Dude, <laughs> so dude. Right I'm in there. Famous section, yes. Boy. Long legs, came in hand. Uh, yeah, see, I didn't, that's not a true statement. But I couldn't get it. Benny, what'd you think of this section? Yeah. Could you get this no problem? I don't know about no problem, but it was hard. <laughs> I feel like see, the long legs is a fake statement, because I couldn't get it. Yeah, because I think that's a- <laughs> All right, reason number 648, why I don't race Supercross. This is a, let's say, 60, 50 foot finish line. Into straight sand with a roller on the inside in a big, steep, outside burn. All I'm gonna say is pay attention to that in the racing. How are we feeling? What's it looking like? Uh, feeling good, had press day yesterday, so I got the track kind of dialed. Um, though it's a little different, it's a little sticky and soft, so it's gonna get pretty rutted and technical, but just gotta find a flow and get it done, boys. I do believe I could hit the 222 two, two just as fast as I could hit the 23, just because of the way I ride. Because if I hit the 3, I'll sky it. Where I hit the 2-2, two, two, I can just push. So I'm not really stressed out about this. Uh, but that rhythm, I have to get. A little post track walk. Yeah, what are we got thinking? Looking soft, but the track's looking good. Excited. I have beat practice this weekend, so I'll have a fresher track. So excited to get out there. So, qualifying just wrapped up, and um, it was a little underwhelming to say the least. We definitely wanted to get in that top 18, obviously, because this week gets a triple crown. Um, Logan rode really, really well on 19th overall. Uh, I think it was Marshall, uh, Marshall Welton that got a last lap in to kind of obviously put us down into a... <laughs> all right, fucking shit. <laughs> all right, all right, go on. To wrap up qualifying, um, we wanted our guys in the top 18 to uh, obviously be in that in that main event night show kind of thing right off the bat. Um, Logan ended up P19, so he's one spot out of the uh, the, main, the main event. And um, yeah, it's not really great the results, but I think you know Logan and Bryce definitely rode really really well. Um, Gage, you know he's got the lines down; it's just to put it all together, and he's a good racer. So in this LCQ, he'll. It's time to make it happen. Long story short. Long story short. Long story short. 
It's time to make it happen. Now or never. I don't even know why I talk on this anymore, <laughs> to be fair. It's just all, it's a Mac show. It's a Mac show. Like I said. It's, a it's Mac not show. the Mac show. But hey, we're coming in swinging. Gate drop's coming. It's ready to dig, brother. Yeah. Go give this Gage Linville back fender to somebody. <laughs> you gotta walk up here though. I think the fan zone's closed. Maybe we can catch somebody walking inside or something. Oh, this is my guy right here, Roto Moto. Hey, give this guy, hey, Roto! Johnny! Say something to the vlog, man! Say something for the vlog? Yeah, dude! Dude, I thought Lightsell was gonna pull that off, legit. Ah, oh, dude, we legit. all thought he was. Yeah, especially from the whole shot, I was like, oh, he's got it. Easy. But, yeah, dude. yeah it's an early track. Gnarly track. Dude, in the restart, we had our three yeah. guys in the top three. Yeah. I was like, it was good. Yeah, it was good. yeah. And, he, mean, and he was, and I don't even think that guy was in that dangerous of a position, you know? But Luke is a good dude, so, like, if it's gonna be somebody yeah, that needs to get care. Unfortunately, I, yeah. I'm glad he's, hopefully he's okay. What's this? What are you doing? Gotta give us away. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Look at the we're gonna mooch off the Deegan line. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. Man. That's right. Did he sign Yeah. Oh, I see it right there. Yeah, that's sick, man. I want that. Let me give that kid. Yeah. Hey, buddy. Thanks. Come here. You want something cool? Yeah. We're back under on the ladder. Hey, hey, look at look at the camera. Give me like a thumbs up. Good stuff, buddy. Have fun. 
So, the night is over for us. Triple crowns are always kind of tough for guys like us. Um, you know, obviously our guys are on the bubble and we expect them to be in the top 22, but sometimes that's not always how the, it's not always the cloth you're cut. If, uh, but yeah, we were running good. Like we had some good qualifying times. Gage didn't have a great one. I think he was like 29th. Bryce is 23, Logan was 19th. So he's one spot out of uh, getting in straight through. But um, no, the boys came already firing for the LCQ and we, Everybody got off to a pretty good start. Logan was like P4, P3. Bryce was like P4, P5, whatever. They moved into a transfer spot. Bryce is in the leading in the LCQ after two guys, or after Munoz scratched out of the lead. Um, and then Gage had moved his way up already to the third and after like a ninth or tenth place start. So our guys are running really, really well. Unfortunately, there was a red flag. Um, we hope whoever it was is uh, okay. Obviously, it sucks to see that whenever you have guys in that kind of position that are probably going to be straight through. There's a good gap to fifth. so and Martin was buried in the pack, but that's just uh, kind of the cards we got dealt today. But no, yeah, huge thanks to all the sponsors and stuff. They help us get to the races. All right, so I know Jack just kind of, you know, ended the vlog, but I'm just gonna get a little part in there. So yeah, obviously what he said, it was uh, kind of a rough day, but it's the highs and lows of the sport. Um, on the on the bright, bright side, everyone's leaving healthy. The track was gnarly. Some guys are not leaving healthy, so. You know, a lot to work on, a lot of positives from, from each of the guys. Stuff to take away and really work on these next few weeks because, you know, we're uh, we're looking to be in those main events. You know, it's not fun watching the racing from the stands. It's not fun packing up early. Um, but yeah, again, like I said, the guys are healthy. We're going to a three week break uh, with, with the guys healthy. But yeah, so let's, uh, we'll wrap up the vlog here and we'll see you guys probably next time in Foxboro. So we have three VIP experience packages still available. Foxboro, Nashville, Philly. So shoot me a DM, the, the team a DM, Dirt Bike Depot, DVD Racing, shoot us an email, get on board. Um, we're looking to end the season on a high note and we need your support. So, yep, signing off from Indy, see y'all.